Um, but uh, if you tune in, uh, we are going to be presenting Holla If You Hear Me from Pro Wrestling Conquest. Yes, with Scott Steiner, a part of that show. Also, uh, a part of that, uh, the, the main event will be taking on the Outrunners, one of my favorite new tag teams um, that's been popping up on AEW Dark. Um, uh, the former Fandango will be talking, taking on Levi Everett. Uh, Daniel E is a friend of the show. I'm going to talk to him about how much Dragon Ball Super I've been watching. He's taking on Jesse Goddard's Mr. Pictacular, uh, Money Shot and Lenny and Lodi, and Jock Sampson Cole Carter, as well as the Beast Man taking on the Man Scout. Uh, Jake Manning, that is, I did, uh, uh, Beast Man, how are you with tents? How, were you a Boy Scout? I was, actually. You were a Boy Scout. Yeah. So, so you're, you're, you're already ready for this match, aren't you? I am. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, Pro Wrestling Conquest, of course, they, we, we, you know, they, they, they had a great, Dan, uh, In Your Housing show, uh, book more tag team matches with their uh, tag team tournament that we did with the last pay per view. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, one of, I mean, I, I, to me, they they're one of the kind of out out of nowhere um, promotions that you know that just had just fun shows with a lot of great great people as a part of this. And 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 Beastman, you've been a part of this for uh, for a while. Yeah, w- with them, right? Uh, about two years now. Two years now. Okay. Okay. Um, so I, I feel like, I feel like anywhere I go out of town, you end up at, <laughs> that's the other thing I'm noticing too. That's a good Cause, thing, Cause you're at warrior too. I'm hey, like, when Oh, you, when you're good at something, what can I say? You know what I mean? You got to follow where the stars oh, go. Oh, is beast man here too? Yeah. Okay. Is the main event here too? Okay. You know, it is funny that I go to pro wrestling conquest and I get to, uh, uh, uh hang out with all the wrestlers that I'm, I i do not work with locally here in Pittsburgh anymore that are from Pittsburgh. <laughs> so <laughs> I got to go to Charleston to do it so including you because i don't think i work any shows locally with you anymore uh, uh not yet not, 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 yet. not yet not yet we'll talk about that in a moment i, I don't that, it's still in a different state oh so. for me it's local so well wrestle pit you did that was nice sure yeah that was nice speaking of lady frost um and that's going to be coming up next month too but uh, uh well first of all uh so you you tell me what Boy Scout skills are uh, that think? Do you think the Beast Man is prepared for uh, uh, in battling Jack Jake Manning this weekend? Well, hmm. Because I know I know Zach Nystrom has some problems with a tent last time. No, uh, I'm not worried about tent. Not worried about the not tent. Not worried about. Tent. Okay. See, hmm. I know how to use a shovel pretty well. A shovel? Yeah. You know how to bury people. I, I got do. it. Okay. <laughs> Just like how I'm about to bury Ronnie right now. Okay. Uh huh. There it is. There it is. Okay. So, Jake Manning, this, if this is one of these matches where, if you don't see it on paper, it, it, it looks great on paper, mm-hmm. and it's gonna look even better in person. So, <laughs> if you don't know Jake, like, again, he's the man scout. He's been on AW a little bit. I heard, I little... heard him on. I heard him on the Twitter that he he's he wants to wrestle a bear. So, oh I, yeah. So he wants to. Hey, I want to wrestle a bear, but I'm the closest thing to a bear you, in this you area. You come so. out dressed as a bear. Mm-hmm. So, one more time. One more time. One more time. One so. more time for the bear. Bear man's. Reti- hey, I'm happy. I'm sad to say this. Bear man is retiring on Friday. So <gasps> no way. Yep. No, that's that's. On, is that an exclusive it, that we just dropped? It's not. It could be public. It could be exclusive. But it's, I'm moving on to better, uh, bigger and better things. Let's just what put is it like the that, next so. thing? I, I. What are your pitches? Chat room. What do you think the next outfit for Beast Man is going to be? I never I'm, said it was an outfit. Uh, our next um, presentation. Next uh, persona, if you will. Next, uh, uh, can I say spirit animal, perhaps? Maybe. Per- maybe? Okay. I might put the mask on and be bulldozer again. Who knows? So. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, nobody wants that. No, 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 no. no I'll, be, I'll, be working, I'll be working local again for the next five years if I do that. No, so, no. Yeah. Although I would love if we had a, uh, a, uh, a Beastman multiverse uh, where it's you versus uh, bulldozer versus, uh, was it Night Train? Let's not go <laughs> And we'll do the pointy meme. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bring the night train back. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but anyway, uh, 
ways. Um, so, go go check out the Indie Mayhem show for an explanation on that. I believe we have over there. So with with Beast Man, did you do a battle royal as the Beast Man then came back out as Dozer? No, somebody else. So was that, somebody, okay. Spoiler somebody, alert! Was so, not me. Somebody borrowed your. Uh, <laughs> yes, they needed a body. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> like always, bring your gear. Always Even the old. It. I got it in the old uh, old gimmick corner of my bag. Um, <laughs> so how so how about? Jake Manning, I've been looking forward to this match for probably about seven years now. Really? Yes, I have been waiting for this. Not not because just because of his history and my history, just like how like our experience in the ring is just going to be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like the match, like I, I can already tell you, this God. match is going to be amazing. I so. think I saw him the first like ten years ago. He's been, yeah, he's another guy. has been yeah. around for a while, right? So yep. and 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 every time I've seen him, it's a fun match. Uh, so I, I'm I'm excited to see what happens, and we and, and we know conquest things get wild down there. So oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Violence. Violence. Yes. Um, but uh, it, so so you have that going on. You got warrior wrestling. Wait, did I see? Is it you against Mil Mortis? Yes. Mike, I'm going to let you field the question for this as the as the uh, Mayhem's largest uh, uh, a Lucha Underground fan. Oh, he's considering. Um, yes. I'm a little I'm a little worried. Okay. Um. Um. That that man, he's killed a thousand people. Yes. Um. I I just want to make sure you know, you've done your due diligence on Lucha Underground matches to know that you need Firebirds to beat him. Firebirds. Yes, specifically phoenixes, but you know. But he's injured, so he can't help you out. I, I mean, he can be a weapon. There you go. <laughs> oh, I've been known to use humans for weapons. So yes, this exactly. Is this this is what I'm saying. Or, or just find someone with a copy of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and just bash him with it. I got you, fam. <laughs> there you go. There you, you go. Okay. He's got you covered. Yeah. See, I, Ronnie's got it covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ronnie's going down to Charleston for this show, so uh, we're putting him to work as cool. well. So. So that'll be good. He'll be, and he'll be. He may be in the path of destruction for. Well, wait, no, that, not that show. He's going to be on the Charleston show. Sir, I'm, I'm confusing him. But Warrior Wrestling is going to be in South Bend, Indiana. Debut in Indiana. Um, with that, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm just glad it's not on a football field because it's, <laughs> it's January. Uh, <laughs> that was hard enough in September. I don't know if you. Oh, it wasn't that bad. It was. It, listen, listen. We went three weeks in a row the first time I worked with them, and I got every season of Chicago. Okay. <laughs> I think you had the not cold uh, uh, week of no, it. No bullshit, because I'm going to tell. Because remember, I came. I worked the second show of the of the the month, and then I came back the week after because Lance Archer had coat. I only had a days notice to come out, and I had torn calf that weekend. I was a rhino. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, that was at Warrior. Yeah. I I don't remember filming you and Rhino. Was I there? You were there. I was. <laughs> I literally, I don't know what happens with these Warrior shows. I literally can't tell you what we've done <laughs> I, um, until I see the highlights pop up. I'm like, oh, yeah, we did that match. <laughs> I don't know what it is with pay-per-views like that. Um, but, uh, no, <laughs> so, so looking forward to that. Um, um, yeah, it's going to be a... Uh... It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. I love it. I love it. This is gonna be a hell of a card going on there. That's gonna be on fight, of course. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to the uh, lucha match with Sam in it. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So. Who's he taking on again? Ah, uh, it's like him and like four other people. Oh, one of those. Yeah, okay. So. Is there a psycho clown involved? No psycho clown. He's been all one. over my Twitter lately. So hold on. I need to pull up the uh, w the warrior. We'll probably talk about it again next Who the hell week is as a well. Psycho clown. What? You don't know the psycho clown? I don't know. What you're talking about. Just like how Sam Dawes doesn't know who you are. That makes sense. Oh, right. love you, Sammy. I don't, Sammy. <laughs> not Ronnie, though. So <laughs> not Ronnie. <laughs> I think it's Ares, um, Lo Gringo Loco. I hope it's Ninja Mac because I loved watching Ninja Mac get murdered by Brian Cage. Man, Ninja <laughs> Mac. You, were you there for that one? No, I wasn't. But Ninja Mac is my favorite wrestler. Oh my God, he was after that match. I mean, whatever was left of him. Yeah. Uh, like, I've never seen somebody just... I, I thought for sure that man was going to the hospital <laughs> uh, in, in traction after that match. <laughs> so, But I think i just seen him land on his face several times. Um, but And I saw he's going to Japan. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Uh, but... 
so so good stuff happening out there. You've had several interesting announcements lately. First of all, let's talk about um, let's talk about what's happening in in uh, uh, West Virginia. Uh, you are involved in VCW, which is Victory Championship Wrestling. Uh, uh, what the heck is going on there? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I mean, I know a little bit. But. That's basically how the chats have been going. <laughs> so I've been gone, like, the last couple of years, like, since the pandemic and everything. I have not been home. I have maybe wrestled in Wheeling maybe twice. Mm -hmm. I miss wrestling at home. Like, don't get me wrong. It's great traveling the country, making money, and doing what I love to do. But, you know, every once in a while, it doesn't hurt to have a five-minute drive from my house. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I've... I hear people all the time, we weren't wrestling back in West Virginia. We weren't wrestling back in Willie. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, uh, not getting name names or anything like that, but since, uh, well, you know, uh, since some stuff went down, it's been, there hasn't really been anything down there. Yeah, yeah. So I said, fuck it. Now I'm sorry for cursing, but. It's okay. We have a disclaimer I, on the show. Want, I want good wrestling back in Wheeling. Yeah. So. That's my goal. Like that, I decided to. Uh, I booked a date. Uh, I forgot I had a date booked originally, and <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> I booked a date in September, and I forgot I had booked because I was like busy doing other things. Oh, so, okay. Uh, February twentieth, VCW uh, goes down. Victory is ours. There you go. Um, and and, and it's, it's it's got a good lineup. We got uh, Andrew Palace. I saw as part of that. Um and uh, and a lot of a lot of faces, a lot of familiar faces to hear. I think you said Zeke Mercer is going to be a part of that too. Unfortunately, um, we say Ronnie is going to be a part of that too. I, he's not booked uh, yet. I no, booked yet. We're, 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 we're still in yeah. negotiations. Yeah. Hashtag book Ronnie. So oh, can, can I say this, Sorg? Yeah, uh, um, you can say whatever. Well, almost whatever you want. To everybody listening out there, uh, for everybody who knows me. I bust my ass every time it has to do with anything with wrestling. Mm -hmm. it, this is my passion. Uh, this is my life. I've met my future wife because of this business. Uh, Literally, I was there. Yeah, so this business has been good to me. It has been bad to me. It is the worst girlfriend that you can anybody could ever have. <laughs> so, but I'm I'm not begging, I'm not playing, but <laughs> come like if this is going to be a show that. If you don't, yeah, this is going to be a great show. And just by the lineup itself, it's not been announced yet. You've seen it, Sorg. It's not. It's not the same average Pittsburgh indie wrestling show. It's a lot different. There's going to be a lot of new faces that you guys haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, you got, you know, Palace. You know, Remy, Zach Myers, and you got the great Matthew Taylor from Ohio who. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see because he's completely different than what y'all are used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got a lot of guys from Ohio coming in, uh, a couple guys from Maryland, uh, Indiana. Like it's a mix of what I feel is the best talent around. And and, and that's the coolest thing about these shows is, is you know and this is why I like things like Conquest because it is like it I get to see you know our guys you know from Pittsburgh come down and you know you you a part of that I consider, uh, but then we're also being exposed to what is the best of that area or coming in from other directions that we don't get to see all the way up here. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like this has happened. The same thing. We're, we're seeing Ohio guys here, West Virginia guys, you know, that we don't see in Pittsburgh very often, yeah. if at all. So I, I think that's a great exposure point for people. And the one thing I like about it is this is something that it could be a good thing. Mm -hmm. It could be a bad thing. To me, I think this is a good thing. So, you know, I miss, I know a lot of people say they miss coming down to West Virginia on Sunday afternoons to see wrestling, and I hopefully the crowd comes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, I, only thing I can do is just say buy a ticket online uh, or buy a ticket at the door. It takes $15 ringside, $10 general admission bleachers, $5 for kids, 12 and under. Got, like, I'm not going to, guys, I ain't really much to say. Just come and check it out and see for yourselves. 
There you go. See, on my list. I'm going to let the product speak for itself. See see what's in store, right? Yep. Um, so, and, and it's 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 going to be a good, uh, I don't want to say no frills, but it, like it's going to be a straight wrestling show from what we've been talking about mm-hmm. uh, in my conversations with you about this promotion. So um, that's that's good. That's good. Um, and, 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 and from what I can tell, like everybody I know going in there is, is always um, um, people that always deliver on shows too. So um, definitely check it out. Um, I think uh, if uh, if you are free on that Sunday afternoon, I don't know what the Steelers are going to be. Did we win? I don't remember. Uh, so, so Did, football season is already over. It's, we oh, yeah. We're past Super Bowl it, it, by it is not. It is not over. What, what, it, but in February 20th? I think it's over. No, Super Bowl. The, so, no, the Steelers. Oh, February. Oh, February. Yeah, February 20th. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I was, I was Come sticking, on, I Mike. Get with the program. Come <laughs> on, Mike. Don't sports ball me. There is hockey, though. Come on. Yeah, hockey, so, but hockey starts yeah. at five normally. Yeah. Cool, so. yeah, so I will say a couple quick things, Sorg. Sure. So uh, I do have some sponsors I want to thank. Uh, DK uh, Construction. Uh, I do want to thank St. Clair Lanes. And who wants free steak for a year? What? Excuse me. Who wants free steak for a year? You want free steak? For Did a you year, say Ronnie? free food? Free food, free steak. I'm in. So is this catering? I, it's not catering. So I am. <laughs> I want. I just got this done today. I am happy to say that I have Outback Steakhouse. Is St. Clair's on as a sponsor? Whoa, what? what? So, are we having an after party there? We can have an after party there if you want. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm partnering up with Outback Steakhouse. They're helping me out. Uh, we're doing a raffle. Uh, it's going to be about four or five months. Mm-hmm. Try to make raise as much money as we can. Uh, it is free steak for a year. So Whoa. yeah. So for okay. F- once I get the final details and everything on the tickets and everything like that, you got a chance to win free steak for a year. Fantastic. At, at any, I think at any Outback Steakhouse in the country, I'm not sure. We're working on details, but that's all I got right now. So, But if you drove to this show, you can drive to St. Clairsville for, for Outback Steak. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> free steak for a fucking year. I mean, I, go. I'm going to probably buy all the tickets just because. If, <laughs> if nothing else, if you win... You can go to Outback Steakhouse every after every mm-hmm. VCW show in the year. Yes, so, so you're you're good until you know next February. You hear that, Bradley? So, yes. Free steak for a year, Bradley. Bradley. Bradley Brothers is my favorite person because he bought the first online ticket yesterday. Bradley, he truly is my number one fan. So you know, Bradley. You Bradley. Ba- I know, I know, Bradley is a is a big meat eater because you know what his favorite meat is. Rump roast. Anyways, uh, <laughs> butts, butts, butts. hey, hey, sword, sword. To be fair, he also likes pork butt. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hear. That's the rumor. That's the that's the rumor on the message pork board. Pork butts um, <laughs> <laughs> So, um, anyways, I'm sorry. You were about to say uh, uh, Beastman. No, I, uh, things are going good. I mean, hopefully, like I said, hopefully we get this off the ground, and hopefully we can make it something on a regular basis. So that's the goal. Uh, yes, yes, and, and we'll be there. We'll have a camera on hand. Um, we're not doing live or anything because I don't know if there's internet in West Virginia. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. My experience in that area was not good last time for internet. So. I, I do want to say this: like we have, uh, like I want there. Are, we do have a good team of people helping out. Like uh, you helping out with production. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike Nolan from uh, Voltage Wrestling helping out too. Yeah, so I've been checking out Voltage Wrestling a little bit too yeah. uh, because of the conversations we've been having on Facebook. So we got some good stuff January going January 28th, Beastman versus Rhino. Yeah. it's We're doing it again. One more time, Husk versus Gore. There it is. Then uh, also a big thank you. Uh, if he's listening right now, I'm sure he is Nick. Nick Griffin. Uh, mm-hmm. He's He's been helping tremendously. He is literally my number two. I'm, guy and i can't ask him for i can't ask a better person to help me out with everything with the write-ups on the website uh we're trying to get a website made so it's just one day at a time but he's been doing good with the facebook uh with mm-hmm. the social media he's been helping out tremendously jared griffins uh he's also been helping out with the write-ups uh god damn there's so many <laughs> I, it's just a team um, effort so we want we, to, we want this to come off right so. can we also announce no black mold in this building yes it is a clean building <laughs> oh thank <laughs> you listen can we put can we show a picture of the school can I send, it uh, here real quick? send it to me I'll, I'll pull it up all right and then on. we got to talk about this other thing you sent me too oh so in we a got minute, we got like three things to talk we have about, we have so. like three more things to talk about that's all right we're we're, we're a little early on the okay. show so i'm over here saying thank god but i don't even know if i'm booked yet so yeah <laughs> Bradley, should we book uh, should we book Ronnie? Oh, don't ask him that because you know the idiot's gonna say no. Why not? Why? <laughs> oh, why? You got a good relationship with Bradley, don't you? I do. Bradley and I are friends. 
Here, I'm, I'm sending you the link to the ticket page, too, so okay. everybody wants to buy tickets. Yeah, go go check that out. Uh, and again, look up Victory uh, Championship Wrestling on, uh, and you're everywhere, uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and um, I believe it's VCW, VC, VC Wrestling 22, yeah. I believe it is, right? Yeah, and right now, we just, we're mainly working on, we're working on everything, but we're mainly working on the Facebook page, so I'll tell you what, we've gotten a good following right now. We're almost to 900 people within yeah. a month. Yeah, so. oh, it's been looking good. Wow. It's been looking good. As far as like a, a company coming like right out of the gate cold, you know, as a brand new company like this, like I, I've been really impressed again with the conversations you guys been having on production and everything. Like I feel, I, I know you're, I, I know, listen, I know Beastman's just like, hey, we're trying this. Please come out. We'll see how it goes. Like, dude, you got, you got a good lineup. You got a good locker room from the looks of things. Like I, 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 it, it's, it's worth checking out the first show to see what this, this crew is going to be doing. So don't mind him. He's in that pre boat. He's in that pre booker mode, you know, and well, and, I guess. and he's going to be walking <laughs> around just like I've seen Sam Adonis do, just like I've seen other people that have started re- promotions recently do. Their their wrestlers just saying, "I'm never fucking doing this again. Nope. I'm never fucking doing this or, again." Or I like- think you said that last time you ran a show. I'm never fucking doing this again, Sorg. You know how many times I've heard that from people that have run multiple shows since? Way too many times. <laughs> but you remember the story behind the story though about that? Which which story? So the, the, the one that day? The one where I almost fired my mother from the concession stand. <laughs> and- Be- you almost fired Beast yeah. Mom. Mm-hmm. So it was like a continuous like series of like bad events that could happen. So I lost my keys and my gears in the car. And it's like an hour. It's like 45 minutes before show time. People were coming in through the door. It was already like it, it was lined up. So I was already about I couldn't find my keys. So I'm like going around all over the fucking place. I'm like, I can't find my fucking keys. I can't find my keys. And I'm standing there by the merch table. Anna comes up. She's like, I can't find my fucking keys. The show's ruined. It's done. I can't I can't do this. And she's like, well, did you check your pockets? Like, no. And she's like, where's your phone? I don't fucking know. I don't care. I have insurance. Like, don't you need it? Like, I don't care. If it's gone, I get insurance. I'll buy a new one. So eventually I found, like, <laughs> I eventually got my keys, got the car. I'm walking back with my gear bag in my hand. My mom's like, Wesley. I'm like, what? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Wesley. What? We? How much are the pepperoni rolls? Like two bucks. I'm like these little things. And I'm like, how much did you get them for? I'm like a dollar. Yeah, it was she, an argument over pepperoni yeah. rolls. Yeah, and she's like, well, I'm selling it for a dollar. I'm like, don't you know how fucking economics work? You, st- you double, you make- sell it for yeah. double, and you make money off that. Do it or you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm walking up to the and then I'm walking up to the entrance through the entrance ramp to get to the ba- backstage. Mm. Anna stops me, and this lady's arguing with her about buying online tickets. I didn't do online tickets for the show, mm. and I just and she's like, "Well, he said everybody pays." So she's trying, and it, she, the lady's trying to tell me, "Well, we got tickets here." I said, "Everybody fucking pays," and I just walked to the back. <laughs> and I was not seen till my match. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. That's great. Uh, I got the picture that you sent me over here. So this is the venue. Um, yeah. And look look how clean that looks, Ronnie. Mm-hmm. It looks great. As long and... as I get that fucking basketball hoop right up there. Yeah, there you go. Good. There you go. So I understand this is a former school. There's a lot of my former, former high school. Through. Your former, high, former school. high school. So this is like, I mean, well, listen, we have to have, there has to be a VCW homecoming show. And uh, I don't know if we just we just like you know you get you get crowned uh, homecoming king or who would be your homecoming queen? Well, I mean that's obvious, I guess. But the but the beast man's homecoming queen, I guess we should say. Not uh, Anna, obviously. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> so good, good answer. <laughs> I do want to say this though: the week before mm-hmm. ours, uh, Three Rivers Wrestling is running okay. down at the same building, so. Uh, if you guys want to see two good wrestling shows, mm-hmm. I highly recommend to go see Three Girls Wrestling on the 12th. I think mm-hmm. it's the 12th, right? Uh, I don't know. It is the 12th. It's February 12th down yes. at, uh, down at Bishop Donnie High School. More than happy to share the building with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, go down and see the guys. It's going to be a good show from what I've seen so far. Can't really – I any wrestling is good wrestling in the area right now. So mm-hmm. go down and support them. Come down and support VCW. So. And it's a good um, – from – I'm only – uh, minimally aware of some of the people working there, but it's like if they're working there, it's not a it's not a shit roster. Yeah. Um. So, uh. So it's so definitely definitely worthwhile checking out. Um. You said you had another question for me. I have a question. What is the deal with this video? 
<laughs> it's the best video ever. That's what is this mean. video that everybody has been sending me this week? Let me see if I can pull it up here what for the it? Mayhemers on the video. Uh, I don't have the audio coming through. Uh, actually, well, a little bit. But uh, So it's on the TikTok. You guys have seen the TikTok there. And there you are bowling over with a car crash sound if you find this on the oh. TikToks. You are, uh, you, you are, this is at ECW Arena. Right? Yeah, for Battleground Championship Wrestling. And you are bowling over. You missed the wrestler. Was that the timekeeper? That was the security guard. That was the security sure. guard. Is uh, he still alive? Is he still alive? I Have think you so. checked on him? Have you sent him a get well soon card? Maybe some flowers. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you get him a get well balloon After. and tie it to his leg? Those yeah. Awesome. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, um, yeah, yeah. He it looks like his head hit the guardrail on that one. Uh, so, <laughs> so this has been everywhere. Have you, do you? It's been a while since you've gone viral. I, I, I guess I never knew I went viral on this. So, yeah. So, uh, ECW Arena, Battleground Championship Wrestling, Ace Romero versus Beast Man, sold okay. out crowd, twenty three hundred people. First match on the show was Jerry the King Lawler versus Bubba Ray Dudley. Jeez. <laughs> okay. How are you going to top this? Yeah. Yeah. So Especially in ECW Arena, right? Yeah. Because both of them having the history. Gotta get wild. You have to get wild and crazy there. That was the third time I've run. Like, the two appearances I did for MLW was Who in there. Who starts a show with that? <laughs> what is that? Jerry Lawler. That is said, a, I mean, unless they just wanted to get their payday and leave early. Verbatim, Jerry Lawler said, I asked to go on first so I can get the fuck out of here. That's what he said. <laughs> there we go. That seems right. Well, that's actually on brand with him and the, his experience with the ECW arena. So yeah. that, that that makes sense, too. And it's funny. Um, I think that's the second match he ever had there, too. So it was kind Really? Of, yeah, I think it is because that's actually kind of cool to see. So. Okay. Okay. Fair part of history. I get it. So originally, uh, the guy, his name was Justin. And I'm looking at his stuff right now. He... Uh, is he one of those like of that? Is he part of that security crew that you always see in Philadelphia whenever they run shows? Atlas like, security. No, he's not Atlas. He's security. not Atlas. Okay. No. So look at the number. Of how many people have viewed it, Ronnie? Fifteen point six million people. Jeez. That's awesome. So and that's just on fucking Instagram, dude. You're so over. <laughs> so you're Instagram over. Yeah, mm -hmm. even though I can only got five thousand followers, I can't get no more bastards. <laughs> get so. those. Get those link backs. Eastman get... Husk. People, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, there you so. go. I don't think you're going to get that many from this. Show. Well, no, I didn't know. I didn't like. I got maybe like 150 new followers the last like two days because of that. Yeah, that's like, right. Because I didn't know it, got, it went viral, and then people like you said started sending it to me. I'm like, cool. So the guy, the security guard, his name was Tommy Moose. He's a worker from uh, worker. He's a wrestler from Jersey. Mm -hmm. That's a story within a story because we need some. Okay, we need good. Some, we need. It, it wasn't just a poor innocent victim. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Extra man, he had we had to, okay, he an extra. Yeah, that's so true. they didn't have no extras, but but and Tommy's just sitting out there. He's already drinking. I'm like Tommy, I got a spot for you. Yeah, brother, whatever you need. And I'm like, so we called the spot. <laughs> the spot. I swear to God, I thought he shit his pants when I hit him. <laughs> I swear. Because you hear, brother, my ass, my. <laughs> <laughs> but I've done this. I did the spot years ago with Barrington Hughes in Cleveland. Okay. That's where I got the original idea. If I could pull up, if I had the video, it looked good. And you can see a, a, a young Jabari Hawthorne yell, holy shit, holy shit. Mm -hmm. So when that happened. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, and I also saw news. I have, this, was, this was not one I expected. We got to touch on it real quick. Um, I know we're, we're we're running a little late on Mayhem Mania here, so please please Mayhem Mania. Calm are, down, people. Uh, relax, we'll be relax. We'll get you. Um, so I saw I, I saw and I didn't get to catch all the rest of the information, but the things I caught and just figured I just hadn't woken up yet uh, was uh, head trainer Beast Man. Where the hell is this happening, and how did this happen? So, and okay. how many things are you putting on your wrestle plate right now? <laughs> Way too many. Yes. As owner, booker, promoter, trainer. And now trainer. Wrestler, uh, pussy eater, I don't know. So, <laughs> Well, that's your next t-shirt. Is that part of the training? Because 
I mean, you know, that's a different skill set altogether. That's why I train for for Saturday nights with me and Anna. So you'd be surprised oh, how that she's applies to wrestling. I guarantee you she's gonna text me five minutes to yell at me. She she's was right in now. the chat room earlier. She is gonna be pissed. There so, you go. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? It just proves you're not Batman. Yeah, I'm not Batman. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I got asked by Tim Cross of Real Street Wrestling to come and help with the training. And they instituted the mountain. Ah, there she is, right there. Good for that delay. Good. Don't. She totally missed what I said. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good. Uh, <laughs> there is a bit of a delay in the chat. I'm so, so getting yelled at later. <laughs> yep. Yep. Please, mm -hmm. guys, don't, don't, don't text. Don't write what I said, please. So. Yes. Um, <laughs> That'll make sure it doesn't yeah. happen. We can edit this out. We're live, We're live, pal. So <laughs> we're live. On, on like six different platforms. How much time we have, brother? <laughs> You're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's already too late. So anyways, they asked me to come in and help and be help with the training. And, you know, all the kids down there are good kids. I want to help out. Uh, my thing is, is like I I'm not a. Uh, for say i'm not a uh a trainer because i have never really like i haven't really trained a lot of people i've trained two people mm -hmm. zach zach myers garrett lee are the two people i've claimed i've trained you can throw aj alexander in there he's trained with me for a little bit then he went to pwx which is fine so he calls me a step so i consider him my stepson or whatever mm -hmm. but i do i will claim him so it's okay but one thing i uh they're running school they're gonna try to start running in morgantown uh west virginia I bring 16 years experience, TV exposure. Uh, I've wrestled the biggest names in the country, in the world. Uh, I can give you, I feel like my resume alone is qual makes me qualified to be a trainer. Mm -hmm. But I also have experience of being on the road, traveling all over the country, being able to give that to them. Uh, one thing I want to do is make sure these kids have a because when I started out I didn't really have good training for like a few years because I was taught the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So my goal is with the uh, Mountain State Wrestling Academy is what's giving known as is to make sure these kids get a good quality education and that they will be solid, solid, be solid when they come out of school and be ready to work and be able to get bookings on their own. Okay, good mission, good mission. So, and, uh, and again, I mean, that's something uh, there's, I don't know if there's a lot of schools in West Virginia, uh, necessarily or, or reputable or, or anything like that. The uh, thing, the thing, so. the inside, the running thing in West Virginia says you want to have heat with people. You open up a wrestling school. Oh yeah. Is that yeah. how So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and again, just not aware of the West Virginia, uh, wrestling scene myself. There's, you don't so want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's like all the problems in Pittsburgh, just across the entire state. Right. Yep. So with with just mountains separating you. Um, anyway, so uh, so a lot going on. Beastman Husk on the social media. Check out Victory Championship Wrestling uh, coming up here, and also check out our friends at Pro Wrestling Conquest. We'll be live on the Wrestling Live, and then the uh, uh, Warrior Wrestling next week on the twenty second mm -hmm. is going to be live on Fight. Uh, so you can get two weeks of Beastman at the very least. Um, so uh, I'm sorry that the ratings are going to be low, sore because you put me on here. <laughs> I don't know about that. 